This video is on XML. XML, or Extensible Markup Language, was designed to store and transport data. It simplifies data sharing and data transport. And just like all markup languages, it uses tags. However, unlike other markup languages like HTML, it doesn't have specific list of tags. Additionally, XML doesn't carry data about how the information will be displayed, like HTML. It focuses on how data will be stored, searched, and shared. It enables sharing of structured information among programs and people. Because XML has strict validation, it is reliably used by other programs and is often used for web content. Since everything is structurally correct, XML documents can easily be parsed by other programs for output. You can use it to structure everything like a book, for example. As you could see here, it includes details about the book and organizes it. It's as simple as adding tags of your choosing like the author and closing it with the author tag, with the author name between. Tags are case sensitive unlike HTML, so ensure tags match. Computer can sort and categorize XML files more efficiently than any other document, and it's a great way to store data consistently across multiple platforms while ensuring data accuracy. Both XML and JSON is a great way to transfer data. XML is text-based structure, while JSON is an object-based structure. But the biggest difference between the two is the size. JSON doesn't need ending tag unlike XML. Not to mention, XML is a lot more harder to organize and creates more errors when compared to JSON. Not to mention, JSON can easily be parsed with JavaScript, while XML, you need to declare it and bring it.